I have to say, at first, I had my misgivings over mean tweets, but I think it's working out just fine. I think the team's going to have to work harder to find meaner tweets in Shitterland because uh, Steve is pretty good at dispatching these guys with very little effort. and He seems to be taking a liking to it. We may have created a monster. Tell me how the grass tastes, little man! <laughs> ah! oh! The audio on the stream was a little messed up, so I brought in the original tracks from the streaming service and uh, overlaid them in so people could listen to what was going on and made fun of myself for my own faux pas. Enjoy Steve having his way with mean tweets, because I certainly did. And in that situation, money is power. And if you have access to money then and, you, and the workers don't, then you can do what you want to do, whether it succeeds or not, another story, but the workers themselves can't. So access to money is the ultimate determinant of power in a capitalist economy. And that's probably one reason why neoclassical economists don't want to talk about money, which I find incredibly frustrating. I know, I was hoping okay, we were going to get to social tweet. banking, yeah. but yeah, we'll save that for next well, time. We will, we will. Let's, let's well, we can talk about well, it. We've got another hour to we'll go. Come back. We well, yeah, we've, got, we've got time we've after, got the, uh, after the mean tweets. Plenty of time for oh, great. banking. Central wanking, as Don't I Don't forget to, to read it. them. Uh, read them out <laughs> live. Uh, read them out loud uh, so that the audience can hear them and then respond to them, uh, Steve, when, you, when you're ready. So let's have a look at those mean tweets. Okay, where are they? Did you send them to me or what? I can actually see them. Here we go. No, okay. no, they're about to happen, I think. Okay, right on. So here we go. So read out from, so do you want me to read them or I could read them in a horrible voice, <laughs> couldn't I, I suppose? You read it, read it out. Yeah, go, do you want me to read them out? Um, how yeah, about, read it uh, out, yeah. Okay. Uh, Steve, you're a raging, moronic idiot. You said nothing in this whole lecture other than asset liabilities plus equity, which was figured out 500 years ago. Please go away and stay here. Uh, please, please go away and stay there. Well, I would if economists understood that line, and they don't. They've been 500 years, they've been denying that bloody line, that assets equals liability plus equity. And when you put that into their logic, it rules out the money multiplier model. It rules out the idea of fractional reserve banking. It establishes that governments don't borrow, et cetera, et cetera. So if you follow that line through, you get a completely different economics. And what I'm trying to say to economists, including this idiot, whoever this is, wake the fuck up. If you don't understand this equation, you don't understand capitalism. And the sort of people who think this is passe are the ones who don't understand capitalism. So I could put the media scrapped in the same bloody group. One Very down, what's next? One down, yeah. Does it have to be human? Hey, Steve. What's amazing is how you lie about the economics profession to grift and make money. Ah, arrogance and stupidity all in the same package. How efficient of you. I wish that was true. I wish I was making a fortune out of this. I'm barely managing to survive. Uh, so you know, the crowdfunding barely keeps me able to pay the bills. So I wish I was grifting and making money that way. And lie about them. All you have to do is read them. Okay, this is the thing. I, I read about the dirt, read out the dirty bits. So Denise had a beaut one a moment ago. Uh, I might try to find one on uh, from Paul Samuelson, for example. But I just read out the, the, the dirty bits from the literature. So I haven't got the quote from Paul Samuelson in front of me. But he tried to explain why markets have been kind of sloped downwards. And as part of that, to actually prove that it slopes downwards according to the conventional theory, he was willing to assume the existence of a benevolent central authority that reallocated income and wealth to make everybody equally happy. And that's part of the theory of how he down with something market demand curves. Read that stuff out. Who needs to lie? You just need to quote the fuckwits and have the stuff put into the public arena. Next quote. Does it have to be human? Very good. Next one. Let's have a look. What have we got in the goodie bag? Don't make me make one up. My last person turning up over here. I'm seeing ice cream. Yeah, we've seen that one. We've seen that one. Is, there, that is one. there one more? Here we go. Uh, no, we haven't done this one, have we? No, this guy, this king guy is a real loon. I that haven't done that one no yet. No one in a serious position takes you seriously. Yep. And for that reason, there's nothing 
Nothing catastrophic is going to happen in the immediate future. Everything I've said is alarmist. It won't take place. Pardon, my lord. I like not this news. Bring me some other news. Yes, my lord. You can happily continue um, going on as you are, and nothing will go wrong because all the people in power don't take me seriously. Good luck. I think we have room for a few more tweets per week. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs>